Okay, so as you can hear that that is the unmistakable rumble of the V12. Well, the synthetic rumble of the V12. Um, the V12 <laughs> is an interesting wheel. Um, I think in motion probably just looked at all of the other wheels found out what they liked about all the other wheels and just went ahead and just like, okay, well, we're going to take that box. We're going to take that box. And then also look at their wheels as well. And it's like, okay, well, we're usually known as, you know, the slow coach of the EUC world. So we're going to go 100 volt. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be 16 inch. So um, what is the king of the 16 inch in terms of speed? Uh, the Nikola. All right, that's fine. We're going to beat the Nikola as well. That's exactly what I just done. I just taken all of the good things from all the other, all the other wheels and just made sure that they just beat them. And you think, okay, so this has to be the best 16 inch wheel. Now, now this is where it gets a bit interesting and probably a little bit controversial. And you can tell me what you think um, in the comments below. Um, I think the, v, the V12, apart from, I, okay, I, I, I I'll talk about the safety aspect. And InMotion has always been known as a very safety conscious, company anyway and with the v12 they've definitely you know continued with that tradition and thank god for that and i actually actually think they've yeah and with the safety aspect waterproofing build quality they have not disappointed if anything i think they've actually raised the bar with the v12 um the v12 is without a shadow of a doubt currently the most complete 16 inch wheel on the market when it comes to um you know speed when it comes to waterproofing when it comes to build quality so why do i still don't think it's the one for me the one i pick up all the time i i don't think it is it's not for me anyway i'll just tell you why now one thing that is important to me is the right feel and the 16, the 16X has a certain characteristic torquiness to it that I like, I enjoy. It's, it's, it's power that is easily accessible. It's linear. Um, yeah, it's, you know, you need to ride the 16X to understand what I mean. Um, obviously, trolley handle, as I said, the practicality of it as well is a big, you know, advantage. Um, the trolley handle of the V12 is not the worst. And I'll tell you, I mean, listen, now this is the pre-production version, right? So this will be improved. Uh, but the V12 trolley handle is not the best. Um, screw is already beginning to, you know, unscrew over here. I hope this gets improved. Um, and also, I think the look, the look of it is, is it's not the best best looking wheel at certain angle it looks a bit brutalist which i like is more function over form yeah um again this is the pre-production version but it's not going to change anymore it's, it's not going to drastically change any more than this uh, maybe this pad over here will be a bit thicker um and different trolley handle but it, if it, the ride feels very synthetic to me, it doesn't feel organic like the way the 16X feels or even the best one, which, which is the, the God way or the big God uh, feel. There's a certain feel and glide. And hey, don't get me wrong, the V12 is very close, but it's almost like they've just copied um, the best, as I said earlier, they've basically taken all of the best attributes of every 16 inch, good 16 inch wheel out there before the V12. And they've just said, okay, we're going to take all of that and make it and, and have this as part of the attributes of the V12. But that ride feel. Now, the ride feel is very configurable. Um, you can adjust, you know, literally at a granular level. Um, the the pedal feel from when you accelerate um, to when you brake um, and even with that as well 
it's it's good i think i'm wrong it's a really close really good attempt it's very close but for me the big god wins on that and that's the only thing that the big god or the king song wins over the v12 um but then again this this can all be tuned using you know firmware updates so uh, maybe in the next month, two, three months, there will be a firmware update that tunes uh, the feel of the ride a little bit more. And that might then, even you never know, could be even better than the, than the Big God um, Nikola. But yeah, this is a very good wheel. And if I'm going to be recommending that, you know, all round wheel to someone, it's going to be, it just has to be the V12. But for me personally, I got into electric unicycle because of the feel, the way it makes me feel, the way I can glide and the response I get from riding. And that part, I just feel is still a bit, is missing. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel it right here when I'm riding the, the, v, the V12. Um, I, 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 I hardly ever pick up the V12 as my go-to wheel. And it's, it's, not, it's not light as well. Um, but yeah, that's just my view on the v12 and i'm sticking to it <laughs>